Hi, I'm Melissa and I have lived in 22 Boxwood Circle for, oh, years. <laughs> um, so I was just going to walk you through um, some of my favorite memories of the house. Um, this house is really special to me, um, not least of all because I actually got married here. Um, we, I really wanted a small, intimate ceremony, um, and the outside area, um, like the flat area right before you walk in the sunroom is gorgeous. It's just perfect for what I wanted. We had these old church pews set up, and my now husband um, built a, a pergola, and we got married underneath it, just right out in the yard. Um, and then we, we did some pictures up um, like by where the vines are, with the pool, with the fence, and we did a couple pictures of me on one side and him on the other side, and it was just, it was perfect. It was everything I wanted on um, my wedding day. And um, I actually got married, or I actually got ready in the master bathroom upstairs. Um, and my best friend was, <laughs> she was running a, a really high fever that day. She was super sick, but she was like, I have to push through because it's your wedding. And I just remember um, looking over and she's just sitting in the jacuzzi tub in the master bath. Uh, it's not full or anything. She's just hanging out in there like this. Cause she was so, so sick, but she was like, it's your wedding day. I have to pull through. Um, and so, yeah, we just had this beautiful, intimate ceremony outside in the yard, and um, and then we came inside and um, had the brunch in the sunroom, um, and it's just perfect for entertaining. I mean, every every party, everything that we've ever had to throw, we've never had to get a venue for because it's here. There's a venue. Um, like my engagement party was here. Um, and I specifically remember I had an English bulldog named Willis and I was sitting on the couch in my beautiful white dress um, holding a glass of red wine, really, you know, just visiting with everybody and we were having a great time and um, we let Willis out and he got really excited and jumped and took a running leap. 60 pounds of bulldog took a running leap onto me with my red wine Red wine explodes, it goes everywhere. I'm covered, I look like a murder victim in a white dress. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are just, oh, my graduation party was here. There are just so many memories here um, because it's, it's the perfect house to create the memories. Um, you know, there's so much space, it's so open, um, there's, there's really nowhere else you need to go. You never, like I said, you never need to get a venue because there's just so much beautiful space here and it's open space. Um, and we always used to put the Christmas tree in the library um, and it just looks beautiful in there. I mean, how many people can say they have a library? <laughs> and it was perfect for us because we were such readers, you know? Um, everybody's really into Kindle now, but there's nothing really like holding a book in your hands and we filled up every single shelf. Um, I mean, it's just, it's cool. And I remember the first time I ever walked in there, I was like, I'm Belle in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> it's just, it's just breathtaking that room, um, especially for book lovers. And I think the biggest thing that this house needs is um, people. You know, right now it's kind of, got that empty nest feel. Um, all the kids, all of us are grown up and gone. And I think this house just deserves, honestly, to have noise and laughter and people making memories in it. And, you know, we've had our chance, we've had our turn with this house and there's, there's really nothing like it. Um, I, nothing that I've seen um, in Wheeling. And it, it's just, it deserves to be filled with noise and laughter and Christmas and, um, you know, parties and, um, 
uh, that's just what I really, I really hope for this house because it's gorgeous and it's been a big part of my family. I mean, you never think of a house being as part of your family, but it's where you make most of your memories. And I know that we've done that with this house. And so I just hope that we're able to find, find that for it. It would mean a lot to me. I've lived at 22 Boxwood Circle since eighth grade, I believe. I believe we moved around when I was in eighth grade. Um, we were living at Forest. Um, we didn't like the house, but we loved the neighborhood. The neighborhood is great. Um, perfect for Halloween. A whole bunch of older people. So you get a lot of candy, which is great. Um, not a lot of noise. All the neighbors are very friendly. Um, but growing up in this house was incredible. Um, some of my favorite aspects of the house, well, when I first saw the house, first thing I noticed were these white pillars in the front. And it reminded me of a house that I loved when I was a kid. Uh, if you're traveling from this house to Elm Grove, there's a house on the left side, like right up against the road that have, has these pillars. And I don't know why, but I always loved that. And when I first saw this house, it had the same white pillars, and I just loved that about the house. Um, but in high school, uh, I was part of the soccer team, part of the theater group, uh, part of a whole bunch of different um, clubs. So I had a good variety of friends, and they'd all come up to the house. Uh, we'd have great uh, parties up at the pool area, which is great because it's enclosed, it's private, no one can see in. Um, you really feel like you're in your own little world up there. And all my friends, they all wanted to come to my house because this house is incredible. Um, but so many great memories here. Um, the basement is wonderful. Uh, it has its own kitchen. It has its own entrance. So it's almost like a little apartment. So it was nice when I moved down there. I was originally in the wooden room. It was my original room, and then I moved down to the basement. But when I moved down to the basement, I felt like I had independence because it had its own entrance, it had its own kitchen. Um, so when I was a little bit older, that was really awesome to live down there and to kind of have my own space. Um, the upstairs is beautiful. I love the master bedroom. Um, beautiful white carpet. Uh, my brother's room is really, really awesome. It has... It's kind of space themed and this painting that was done is just incredible of this um, solar system. I mean, it's just really cool. And then my sister's room, my younger sister's room, is kind of purple themed, um, but it, there's tons of natural light and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, this house has been perfect for me growing up. And I also wanted to mention that a lot of houses uh, have issues with internet. And that was kind of a big thing for me because I play video games, my younger brother plays video games. Um, the internet is perfect at the house. We both play video games at the same time. We'll yell at each other from across the room and it was a great bonding experience playing video games together. And But the... Uh, there's no issue with the internet connectivity at the house, which is wonderful. Um, but so many great memories in this house, and I can't wait till someone else with a family can make new memories in this house um, and call it home. <laughs>